Hello, and welcome to IBD School. My name is Shale Gavani, and I'm an IBD specialist at the University of Michigan. In this video, IBD School 219, we will talk about a few kinds of infections that may look like flares and imitate some of the symptoms of flares. Specifically, we will talk about Clostridium difficile, or C. diff, cytomegalovirus, or CMV, and bacterial infections of the intestines. All of these infections can look like and feel like a flare but are actually quite different and will require different treatments than flares do. It's very important to understand the difference between a flare and these kinds of infections. A flare is an inflammatory issue that is treated with immunosuppression. Some of these other infections, if treated with immunosuppression, could actually become worse. These infections should instead be appropriately tested for, then treated with the appropriate antibacterial or antiviral medications to improve a patient's symptoms. Let's start by explaining infections caused by Clostridium difficile, or C. diff for short. C. diff colitis occurs when C. diff becomes a dominant species of bacterium in the intestine and makes toxins that induce diarrhea. This is more likely to occur when there's a disruption of the diversity of bacteria in your intestine. This can be caused in any patient by taking antibiotics because they get rid of many of the bacteria in your intestines, or in patients with inflammatory bowel disease because a patient's IBD can actively reduce the natural diversity of bacteria in the intestines. When there are few other bacteria to compete with, C. diff can thrive and produce watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, and fever. This is why C. diff infections can feel a lot like a flare. Next, there is cytomegalovirus, or CMV for short. CMV is actually a very common virus that almost everyone has been exposed to by the time they turn 30. Most of the time, CMV just resides in the body without producing any symptoms. However, in patients who are on medications that suppress or weaken the immune system, CMV that was dormant in the colon or the upper GI tract can reactivate. This can cause diarrhea and sometimes abdominal pain as well, which is why CMV can often feel like a flare of IBD. Lastly, we'll talk about intestinal infections with common types of bacteria and viruses. We tend to call these your typical GI bug. An IBD patient, just like anyone who does not have IBD, can get an infection from bacteria or viruses in their food or their environment. It could cause them to get sick and have diarrhea, sometimes with nausea and vomiting. This could be something like food poisoning from undercooked or spoiled foods. The difference in IBD patients is that they can have more intense symptoms after getting this type of infection, as this revs up their immune system. And this could cause them to tip over into a flare. In order to avoid infections like this, Practice good hand washing hygiene and avoid foods that may be uncooked, held at warm temperatures for a long time, or partially cooked. Each of these infections are treated differently. We'll discuss treatment of C. diff further in another video, IBD School 221. As far as CMV, when we detect CMV in the blood, we can't tell right away whether or not it is clinically meaningful, which means it could be causing a health problem. We will look for ulcers in the intestines and look at biopsies of the ulcers under a microscope for evidence of CMV. If there are ulcers present with virus in them, we often treat the patients with an antiviral medication. We test for the more common bacterial infections using stool samples. We do not medicate right away to help these infections as they often go away on their own, but we will support patients through the infection, making sure they stay hydrated and they can take care of their physical health. One of these infections persists we will prescribe antibiotics if needed. There are many different infections which can look like and feel like a flare. When you experience symptoms usually associated with a flare, remember these other infections and discuss them with your doctor to assure that you're being tested and treated if needed for other possibilities. I'm Shale Gavani and thank you for watching IBD School.